Today I want to review some of the details on the Svantec SV104 dosimeter. So this is the SV104A general purpose dosimeter with Bluetooth. Um, first I'll start off with this is the windscreen and there's a little indication of how you take it off. So this unscrews. Now there is an intrinsically safe version of the SV104. Uh, it's called the SV104BIS. It's intrinsically safe and has Bluetooth as well. And with that windscreen, it's magnetically held on, so you just pull this off. But this one, it's actually uh, screws off the top. This exposes the MEMS microphone that has a lifetime warranty. Uh, it's a nice feature. You can, it's very robust and can be bounced around and basically provides, uh, again, uh, uh, hopefully a lifetime uh, operation. If it does ever fail, it, it's uh, replaced under warranty. So put this back in place because it is designed to work with the windscreen in place. Now, I'll also show there's a little light here. That light, uh, if the dosimeter stopped, it will be yellow or amber. If it's measuring, it'll blink green. And if there's an alarm, like if the unit's knocked, or um, if the, for example, you could set it that if the person wearing it hits 100% of their dose, that when you walk up, you'd see that it's, it's red. That would let you know that, uh, again, they've exceeded their dose uh, of noise. Um, so it can be, again, amber or yellow, green or red, this light. This is the color display. And we have three buttons, the down, right, and enter button. And on the side, there's the connection for the USB cable to charge uh, and download the data and configure the dosimeter. There's also the suspender clips on either end that open up and they can be used to attach the dosimeter to the person that's being monitored on their shoulder, close to their ear basically is where it should go. So let's just get into, um, I'll turn the unit on here. Um, so each one of these buttons, this is the enter key, but each one of these buttons also has this little red indication of the secondary um, operation. So if I want to turn this on, this is the enter key, but it's also, there's a red kind of symbol for on and off. So if I hold this down for three seconds, it's going to turn on the dosimeter and it'll go through telling it's the SV104A. It's booting up the settings. And it, it, I've got this one only for set up for one profile that was ACGIH. And it gives a little bit of details of the battery and things like that. And then it, it, in this case, I've got it set to measure uh, sound or noise in real time. On the display, you'll see that, and this is all selectable in the software, but I have it measuring L noise with an A filter slow. The, this other symbol is for Bluetooth, so that's turned on. This is a real time clock and this shows my battery level. And actually the, the, the display will time out to save the battery as well. So we've kind of, we've covered this to turn on the dosimeter or turn it off. You hold down this key for three seconds uh, and it'll, it'll either turn it on or turn it off. The down key and the right key, let, well, let's go to the right key next. So um, the secondary option for this key is to record a voice note. So before, and or after recording, I can make a voice note or voice comment that would give me details on the measurement and that data or that file is stored uh, with, the, with the data. So you can, so basically it's a way again of making voice notes. So let's push the button to, um, to turn on the display again. If I hold down this key for three seconds, it's going to give me an option for a voice comment. Now I can start the record or cancel that this recording is happening in the production area, January 6th. Okay, so that voice comment would be stored with the data that I'm going to do for today. Now, this down key has a secondary option. It, it's a lock, so I can lock the keypad. So if I hold this down for three seconds, Okay, now the keypad is locked. The, uh, now you could set it to automatically lock every time you start recording anyway, but that's a manual way to do it here. 
Um, if I want to unlock it, there you can also in the software uh, set up the key presses to unlock it. The default key presses to unlock are down, right, enter, down, and that will unlock. Okay, so we covered uh, what the keys do. Now let's, there's a way to use them together as well. So I can this this if I hit the enter and right key together, this forces a calibration. So let's hit both of those. And now I could put the calibrator on, do the calibration, um, do it before the measurement and after the measurement to make sure there was no drift. If I hit these two keys together, the enter and the down, I could have a configuration file loaded or multiple configuration files loaded that I could select. So that's done with uh, Svantec Supervisor Standard or Advanced. Um, if you're using Svantec Supervisor Lite, there is no way to store the files there. But uh, so you could have two or three different programs that you could, through Svantec Standard or Advanced, load into this area and recall them into the dosimeter without connecting them to a computer to reprogram it. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is starting and stopping a run, and that's done with the down and right key at the same time. So when I hit those, now I have, with the software, built in a 30-second delay. Now, you could turn that off, or you could set it to a lot shorter than this. That gives me time to mess around, get this clipped on the person. Um, and you'll see now that the keypad is locked as well. These little, it's waiting for uh, the key presses or the code to unlock it. Now, I've got the delay in here. And the next thing I have is I've asked it to synchronize to the the next full minute. So um, instead, so it just makes the data look a bit cleaner. And uh, so now it's going to synchronize. So I'm just waiting for this to count down. Oh, and I'm going to actually I'll unlock it here just to show you. Okay, so I've unlocked the dosimeter, and you can see that I've the little one up in the left hand corner means that this is the measurement for profile one. It's data logging. The Bluetooth symbol is turned on, so I could start and stop and uh, pause the unit from my phone or the. Uh, for the app on my phone or on my iPad or any uh, uh, Android device. The little triangle means that it's running and this is the elapsed time and uh, this is the battery. So if I want to stop this run right now, I could hit the down and right key. So again, it, this, these two keys together can, can start the run or start the recording and stop it. The square is to stop, the triangle means it's running. So if I hit these two together, It'll give me, it'll pause it right now, but I could either continue or I can stop and I want to stop. And so that's the basic overview of the buttons and some of the features of the uh, dosimeter.